morning children we are back again children check out your maths book today we will do subtraction chapter 3 children in standard 2 you have learned subtraction isn't it and you know the symbol of subtraction is this sign isn't it yes that is minus and the bigger number when means when we subtract the bigger number is called minuend and the smaller number is called subtrahend and the answer we get is difference for example 8 minus 2 what comes 6 now 8 is your minuend 2 is your subtrahend and 6 is your difference now let us solve few sums the this sum is simple subtraction means no borrowing okay simple subtraction 8 minus 6 2 8 minus 5 3 8 minus 4 4 8 minus 3 5 so your difference is 5432 now now one sum we will solve based on borrowing okay 9 5 3 3 Two eight six nine. That is nine thousand five hundred thirty three minus two thousand eight hundred sixty nine. Now three minus nine. Now you tell me, will it go? Can we subtract three from nine? No, we cannot subtract because three is the smaller number and nine is the bigger number so 3 we will take as 13 we will borrow one number from here that is 13 13 minus 9 4 this 3 will become 2 because we have given one number no so 3 will become your 2 now 2 will go with 6 children no because 2 is the smaller number small number and 6 is the big number so we will take 2 as 12 we will borrow one number from here 12 minus 6 6 now again 5 will become your 4 4 minus 8 so again children 4 will not go because 4 is the small number smaller than 8 so 14 we will take 14 minus 8 equal to 6 Then nine will become eight. Eight minus two is six. Okay, let us go to the next sum. Arrange in columns and subtract two thousand two hundred fifteen and four thousand five hundred thirty-three. Listen, children. This sum we will arrange in column, and the bigger number we will write on the top, and the smaller number we will write here. below that is 4533 minus 2215 now 3 will go with 5 children no because 3 is smaller than 5 so 3 we will take as 13 13 minus 5 8 now we have borrowed one number from here no so 3 will become your 2 2 minus 1 1 5 minus 2 3 Four minus two, two. So your answer is two thousand three hundred eighteen. Now, find the difference. Difference means always you remember it is minus. Find the difference. A sorry, not minus. We will say subtraction. So find the subtract difference and check the answer. Seven thousand two hundred fifty-six minus three thousand seven hundred sixteen. First of all, you subtract six minus six zero, five minus one four, two minus seven will not go, so we will take as twelve. Twelve minus seven five, seven will become your six. Six minus three is three. This is three. Okay. Now, how you will know that your answer is correct? This way. You add this number. The answer which is coming three thousand five hundred forty plus three thousand seven hundred sixteen. You add this number. See if the same number comes. If this matches to this number, 
means your sum is correct okay next what number when added to 4569 gives 7241 children we will subtract 4569 from 7241 <coughs> your answer will come 2672 now you add these two numbers that is 4569 Plus two thousand six hundred seventy-two. Your answer will come seven thousand two hundred forty-one. Okay. Now simplify. Simplify five thousand sixty-three plus nine thirty-four minus one thousand seven hundred eight. How you will do this sum? First of all, you add the plus signs. Okay. Like five five thousand sixty-three plus nine hundred thirty-four. You add these two numbers. and then you subtract this number uh, from sorry 1708 to subtract from 5997 your answer will come 4289 our next sum is 5385 minus 2290 plus 1234 how you will do this sir First, you add this number with this number. Miss, add sign. See, five thousand three hundred eighty-five plus one thousand two hundred thirty-four. You add these two numbers. Your answer will come six thousand six hundred nineteen. Then, with this, you subtract two thousand two hundred ninety. Your answer will come four thousand three hundred twenty-nine. What problem? There are six thousand three hundred forty-five seats in an auditorium. Only four thousand one hundred thirty-six people came to see the drama. How many seats were empty? Children, here we have to do the sum with the statement, and it is compulsory. Number of seats. I have written number of seats, but you have to write number of seats in an auditorium. That is six thousand three hundred forty-five. Number of people came to see four thousand one hundred thirty-six. Number of seats empty. You subtract these two numbers. You will your answer will come two thousand two hundred nine. Now homework. Pay attention, children. Do two sums from each exercise in the fair copy and the rest of the sums in the rough copy. Thank you, children.